She died in her locked bedroom in an apartment right across from Eastern Michigan University. Police suspect someone killed her. Well, tonight, family and friends of 23-year-old Julia Nicewender will remember her life at vigils. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russo has a look at where this investigation stands right now and how students are coping with such a tragic mystery. Eastern Michigan University police say the mood on campus is tense. Since Julia died, more and more students are asking for escorts or rides on campus when they're trying to get around alone. And for students who live in the apartment complex where she was found, they want answers. You're like, it's so close and it's right here and could that, is it something that could happen to me? This EMU student lives at the Peninsular Place Apartments where Julia Nicewender lived. Family and friends called on police to check on Julia Tuesday because no one had heard from her since Sunday. Ypsilanti police found her in her room and tell me the way she was found was, quote, unusual. They say even though she had no signs of physical trauma, they're investigating her death as a murder. Like, is it involved with people that are in our apartment complex? And like, am I in danger still? Police say at this point, everyone is a suspect. They say one thing that has been a problem in the past at this apartment complex is that roommates are often strangers. Leases are done by the room, not the apartment. Meantime, family and friends of Julia are paying tribute. Students are signing this poster with notes to the classmate who made so many smile. And vigils are planned for tonight on campus and in Monroe, where her family is from. I feel like I've lost a part of me with her. Um, half my heart. She, um, she meant the world to me. It could still be some time before we learn more about how Julia died. Ypsilanti police tell me they are waiting for toxicology results, and it could be two weeks before those are done. In Ypsilanti, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. The funeral arrangements for Julia have been said. Visitation will be tomorrow and Sunday at Rupp Funeral Home that's in Monroe. Julia's funeral will be Monday morning at 11 at Redeemer Fellowship Church, also in Monroe.